Hi, my name's Daddy, and I play Boom Beach sometimes. Uh, the most commonly requested feature around Boom Beach is, can I do a tutorial on, um, you know, sort of common attacking techniques? So we're going to do heavy zooka. Um, we're going to do heavy zooka on both accounts. Uh, with my main account, I'm actually throwing in some grenadiers and some, uh, some medics as well. Because, uh, well, I'm going to tell you why in a second. Uh, these are not perfect raids. I, I made mistakes in both of these raids because, well, you know, I'm human. But um, I wanted to share with you really how you recover, I guess. <laughs> you know, because it, so the first thing I did not do is I did not do the barraging and the attacking uh, before I um, deployed my troops. What you, the, the main priority with um, Heavy Zooka is to take out the rocket launchers. Uh, I'm, here I'm looking for uh, hidden mines because I'm going to be going in through the left there. You take out rocket launchers and also the shock. And generally, uh, if you've got, I mean, I've got, this is a HQ-18, so I can take out the shock with uh, one barrage and maybe two of the, you know, the, the missiles. Anywho, so uh, I've now realized that I didn't take out the shock. So I'll take out the shock and a couple of missiles, I think one, possibly two. It really, and then I kind of forgot to, to flare off to the left there. So quickly flare off to the left, Throw down a couple of, um, yes, try, try and shock the, uh, there we go, <laughs> there you go, throw down a couple of um, smoke. Smoke and flares is an amazing combination, it really is, because it can, I mean look, it's, they're all going to bunch up here, and the thing is the medics continue to work, nothing else works whilst it's in the smoke, they just sort of stand there, but the medics are busy, you know, recovering to full health, so it really does help. And when they come out, of course, it, they all come out and they attack at the same time. So it's just they just destroy buildings. It's a really fantastic way of, uh, you know, sort of building up your power to just take out buildings in literally less than a second. So I, I, I'm the the most I don't know. Look, for me, the most important thing is 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 flaring around to the side. The the whole thing is trying to avoid trouble is so much easier than trying to get out of trouble. And I've managed to fail on that <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to uh, really get them against the wall there the um, the grenadiers as you can see they 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 throw long long distance but they throw really inaccurately and that's great for taking out the uh, the mines ahead of you because you know mines themselves aren't doing too much to worry because I've got relatively high level troops but you know they, it's all percentage right it takes away from percentage I need to take out that rocket launcher good rocket launcher is gone Big Bomb taking out a few of my troops at the front there, but I'm almost at HQ. I, I kind of so what I should have done here is I should have taken out the rocket launcher and the shot before I even deployed one troop. That was a mistake, but I think I've just about recovered. So I'm going to leave them focused on. I left them focused on those buildings until I can get rid of most of them, and then they're going to focus in on the HQ. Take down the HQ. Phew! Thank God for that. I managed to get out of trouble. Well, you know, I mean, nothing is perfect, and I'm certainly not perfect. I've, I've kind of wasted a few troops there that I should have, you know, it's going to cost me a little bit extra, but it was fun anyway. There we go. Okay, so let's, um, let's flip over to the uh, uh, Little Booming Dad account. Uh, this is a HQ-12, so I don't have smoke, and I don't have the, certainly don't have the Grenadiers, and I don't have the Medics. Funnily enough, Medics and Grenadiers were the only two troops that came in after the beta. So it's just pure. Um, three, four boats of... Uh, of heavies and two boats of uh, zookas and I've got some amazing um, idols so the priority that I've, I've, I've really prioritized getting my sculptor up because that's you know who knows I could add an extra 25% onto my troop you know troop attack or whatever so uh, this one is not really gonna be that appropriate so let's see so I'm a 29 and I'm gonna attack a 34 Let's have a look. Okay, so this one should be fine. Now, the mistake I made here is my, my as you guys know, my eyesight is fantastic. And I, I didn't think, I could not see that rocket launcher on the right there by the uh, town hall. So, so I forgot to take it out. So, I've, I, so instead I took out the, uh, the big bomb, uh, sorry, the boom cannon. Uh, so I'm going to pop down, a, pop that down, take out some of those, bomb, uh, those mines anyway. They're not too serious because mines, those mines are intended to avoid smoky warriors. I'm not going to touch those mines that are right next to the HQ. So that was the mistake I made with this one. I, I did not take out those uh, that rocket launcher, but I did the flaring okay. So let's take the flaring around the side. 
Just really taking it away from any problems. There we go. I need to, I desperately need to increase the time on my flare because they're really, it's not long. And the longer the flare, uh, you know, it just doesn't get all the troops up to the flare point. So I'm just basically easing it around the back there out of any trouble at all. And, you know, they're still alive, full health. I've still got 20 uh, gunboat energy left, which is cool. And I'm just going to take them. Yeah, I'm going to try and take them up to the top there. So I want them to bunch with the heavies ahead of the Zookas. So, uh, so I've got a focused amount of power at the top, if you like. So there we go. This is looking good. It's looking good. And I think it's about now, I kind of, it's about in a minute when I kind of realized I forgot to take the rocket launcher. There we go. It's like, oh my God, rocket launcher. <laughs> Kill the rocket launcher. There we go. And go on, you can do it. Oh no, one more. There we go. It's on its way. Right, there we go. Okay, so that's good. They're a bit spread out though. Uh, I'm going to need to push them back to the, the top there so we can focus in again. And then the nice thing is, at, you know, I've only been attacked from one side here because I've got them right against the edge. If we went in through the middle, which is the most common mistake I see people making, is they they go in, they push their troops in through the middle, and then of course you've got attack coming from left and right. I I want to, you know. I don't have many troops because I'm only HQ12. I, I, I want to, you know, have one side where I don't, I'm not attacked from so I can focus on the other. Does that make sense? So, okay, let's go uh, back up to the top then. I'm um, out of any trouble at all because all of the defences are focused. In fact, the only thing that can hit me is that is that mortar. And that's going right in the middle of the... Uh, it's taking out a few of the uh, rocket launchers. Mazookas, sorry, take the Zookas. But... It's too late. There we go. So that's how you take out a base that's five, le five levels ahead of you. Is just go around the side, focus in. That's Heavy Zuka. Now, I know there's a lot of great um, Boom Beach players amongst my subscribers, and I'd love you to tell me um, your strategies and share it with the community. We've got a fantastic community in the comments. I'm almost done with HQ12. Um, I've got... Uh, yeah, okay, well, let's see what we've got. So I'm almost done with HQ12. I think we're going to HQ13 soon. I'm maxed on all offensive stuff. And of course, I have got no defensive troops. Nothing defensive at all, apart from the one sniper tower I had to get. Thank you very much indeed for watching. You guys are awesome. Take care. And bye for now.